Welcome to episode 41. The title of this morning's message is, I need to give a testimony of thanksgiving to God. The setting. This year, Flappy has been working part-time at Kadori Farm while studying full-time at the seminary. So he will get to participate in the annual harvest festival party this Thursday. The farm closes early so all the animal workers and their families can gather for an evening dinner. Flappy has invited Samuel and Moo. Aunt Polly the porcupine works at the farm and she plans to attend. Every worker has to tell a three minute story about what they are thankful for at dinner. What will Flappy say? Hi Moo, hi Samuel. I wanted to give you these invitations to the Harvest Festival party. My family can't make it, so I want you both to come. Hi, Flappy. Oh, thanks. Hello, Flappy. Wonderful. This sounds like fun. Thank you. Well, I'm hoping for more than fun. I need to come up with a testimony about something that has happened in my life for which I am thankful for. This is a great thought that needs some more time to consider ideas. The first thing that comes to my mind is that there are cultural traditions in many countries around the world which celebrate a harvest festival. This gives us an understanding about the important differences. I see the harvest and think of the culture and fruit. In social studies class, we studied that the Canadians, the Americans, the Australians, and the African nation of Liberia all celebrate similar harvest festivals and give thanks for what God has done to bless them throughout the year. I see the harvest and think of cultural traditions. Here comes Aunt Polly. Now, please join us. We were just talking about the upcoming harvest festival and how we might express thankfulness. Any thoughts on this subject? My brother lives in Japan. And that culture celebrates a labor Thanksgiving day that goes back some 2000 years to a ritual celebrating the first rice harvest. The Japanese think first about their workers when they are thankful. I see the harvest and think of the long history of those that have placed their faith in Jesus Christ and work to help others understand the Bible. We have on the farm a raccoon dog that recently immigrated to Hong Kong from Korea. He told me Korea celebrates an autumn harvest festival with ancestral memorial services, wrestling matches, and circle dances. He told me that he looked at Thanksgiving and he sees the opportunity to start his life over in a new country. A Thanksgiving celebration means for him a new beginning. I know a pastor from Vietnam. He talked about how the Vietnamese celebrate a children's festival after the harvest to focus on the children after the parents have had a lengthy period of harvest. Vietnamese give thanks and turn to their children to celebrate. This thought did not previously occur to me. Every culture has something to harvest, but not every culture looks to give thanks to God as creator of the universe. He is the only one to send his son to die for our sins upon the cross. Jesus gives me my purpose in life. I will put my emphasis on telling how God has led me to leave my dam behind and study the word of God full time at the seminary. These are the exact words of the director of music in Psalm 66, 16. He said, come and listen, all you who fear God, let me tell you what he has done for me. Now I can see clearly. My thoughts should focus on my God who directs my life and gives me purpose. I'll pray this week. Oh, Jesus, sometimes things that happen to me and I don't see that they are blessings from you. Sometimes I don't recognize your blessings. It is far too easy to say, I don't have anything to pray about and just stay silent. When I stop and think a minute, 
your blessings come to my mind. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.